Lesson 1. Stopping the Relationship. 1. Hi, Kara. It's Mike here. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? I'm doing well. And you? Everything is going great. Kara, would you be interested in going to dinner again this Friday? Mike, I had a good time too, but I'm getting ready to move back to the East Coast, so I think I shouldn't get too involved right now. Well, we could just go out as friends. Right now, I think I need to really focus on matters at home, but thanks for a nice evening. Lesson 2. Stopping the Relationship 2 Hi, Kara. This is Mike. Hello, Mike. How are things going for you? Great. How are you? Fine. Everything is just fine. Kara, I had a great time the other night and was wondering if you'd like to go out again this weekend. Mike, I've enjoyed your company, but I am getting ready to graduate soon. I really need to focus on my studies. Maybe I could help you with that. What do you need to get done? Oh, it would be better for me to just deal with getting my work done. But thank you for a lovely dinner. Lesson 3. Stopping the Relationship 3 Hello, this is Mike, Kara. Mike, good to hear from you. How are you? Everything is fine. How are you? Things are going well with me. Kara, I had fun the other night at the movies and was wondering if you would like to go out again this Friday. Mike, I don't think that's a good idea to go out again. I really need to focus on getting packed and ready to move back home. Maybe we could just meet for coffee or something. I can't really deal with any distractions right now, but I appreciate the nice evening we spent together. Lesson 4. Dating Discussion 1. Are dates fun for you? I enjoy dating a lot. Why are they so fun for you? Dates allow me to meet new people. Your dates are always fun? Well, I don't always like who I'm dating, so not always. How come? The person I am dating may not be my type. How come you ask them out if they weren't your type? You don't always know what type of person you go on a date with until you know them well enough. Dating sounds pointless. Now that you mention it, sometimes you're right. Lesson 5. Dating Discussion 2 Do you like dating? It's really a lot of fun. What makes it so much fun? It makes it easier to get to know somebody. Are dates always fun to you? Sometimes I may not like the person I'm having a date with. Why is that? The other person isn't always my type. Why would you bother going out with them then? I didn't know that they weren't my type until after I got to know them better. It seems to me that you're wasting your time. You're absolutely correct. Sometimes it is a waste. Lesson 6. Dating Discussion 3 Do you enjoy going on dates? Yes, I find dates to be a lot of fun. What's so fun about them? Give me the opportunity to get to know someone better. So you always have fun on dates? It's not always. I don't always like the person I'm on the date with. Why not? My date might not be my type. So then why would you ask them out in the first place? I didn't realize until after our date that they weren't my type. Sounds like a huge waste of time to me. Now that I think about it, it really is sometimes. Lesson 7. Meeting a Blind Date 1. Hi, are you Mia? I am Mia. You must be Ruben. Yes, that's me. It's so good to finally meet you. Karen has told me so much about you. I hope that she had good things to say about me. She had only good things to say. Did you have trouble finding me? Well, how many beautiful women in a red dress by the fountain are there? Thank you for the compliment.
So would you like to get a bite to eat, Mia? That sounds perfect. Lead the way. Lesson 8. Meeting a blind date. 2. Hi, is your name Mia? Uh, yes, my name is Mia. Are you Ruben? Yes, I am Ruben. Finally, the infamous Ruben. I've heard so much about you that I feel like I already know you. Oh, no. I hope they had positive things to say. Don't worry. All the stories were good. How were you able to find me so quickly? It was pretty easy to find the beautiful woman in a red dress next to the fountain. Oh, well, I guess that kind of narrowed it down. Mia, could I interest you in some lunch down the street at my favorite cafe? Yes, it's a great day for a little walk and some lunch. Lesson 9, Meeting a Blind Date, 3 Hi, I'm looking for a woman named Mia. I think I'm who you're looking for. You have got to be Reuben. <laughs> that would be me. Reuben, Karen and Mike have spoken about you so often that I feel I've met you before. I hope that what they had to say was mostly good. The, they only said wonderful things about you. You did a good job of finding me. Finding the beautiful woman in a red dress next to the fountain wasn't all that hard. Yes, I guess it was a choice of me or the pigeons. I was hoping that we could take a walk down the street to my favorite cafe. Lunch sounds great. Let's head on out. Lesson 10. An argument. 1. Brian and Christina were mentioning that maybe it would be fun to go on vacation together this year, John. I thought that I already told you that I am going with Mark to Alaska. Are you kidding me? You know what? You and I had no plans, so I made plans with Mark. What's the problem? We have been together for a year, and usually people who have been together a year take their vacation together. I don't think that I've ever heard of that rule before. Any more rules that you would like to tell me about? Go on your vacation with Mark, and when you come back, why don't you just move in with him as well? I am really looking forward to getting away from you, far away from you. Lesson 11, an argument, too. John, I was looking through some magazines for ideas about where we might go on vacation this year. I've already told my buddy, Mark, that I'm going hunting with him in Alaska. <gasps> you can't be serious. Hey, I've always gone hunting or fishing on vacation. I'm sorry that bothers you. After a year together, I thought it pretty safe to assume that we would automatically spend our vacation together. Says who? I don't think that is necessarily the case. <gasps> you know, now that I think about it, I really don't have much more to say to you at all. Whatever you say. Lesson 12, An Argument, 3 John, I was talking to the travel agent about where we might be taking our vacation this year. I'm going fishing in Alaska with my friend Mark. What are you talking about? What's wrong with heading out with Mark for vacation? You and I have been together for a whole year, and our vacation time should be about the two of us. Really? Who made that rule up? With that attitude, I don't really think we have much more to discuss here. That works for me. Lesson 13. Asking for a date. 1. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what's up? Well, I was just wondering if you'd like to go out this Friday. Really? Yeah, I was thinking we could go get a bite to eat and catch a movie. That sounds like fun. Of course, we can do something else if you'd like. No, no, dinner and a movie sounds great. Well, what time would you like me to pick you up? How about 7.30? <laughs> that sounds good, so I'll see you then. Okay, cool. Lesson 14, asking for a date, too. May I ask you a quick question? 
Of course. Uh, how would you like to go on a date with me this Friday? Seriously? Well, I figured that we could go see a movie and get some dinner. Cool. That sounds like it will be fun. We can always do something else if you'd rather. Not at all. I would love to go to a dinner and a movie. That's great. So, what time do you want me to come get you? Is 7:30 okay? Friday at 7:30 sounds perfect. Great. See you then. Lesson 15: Asking for a date. Three. Can I ask you something? Sure, you can. What's going on? Would you go out with me on Friday? Are you for real? I thought that we could go to dinner and a movie. That actually sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Unless there's something else you would prefer to do. Actually, I would really like to go to dinner and a movie. What time do you want me to come by and pick you up? Is 7:30 cool with you? That's perfect. So I'll see you then. Perfect. I'll see you on Friday. Lesson 16: Asking for a date. Four. Todd, how have you been? Everything is good. How have you been, Mary? Perfect. Couldn't be better. Mary, I was thinking that I might go to the movies this weekend. Do you go to the movies very often? Yes, I like going to the movies. Would you be interested in letting me take you to the movies on Friday? Maybe we could get a bite to eat afterwards. I think I would enjoy seeing a movie with you on Friday. Uh, I am not sure what movies are out right now. Have you heard of any that you might be interested in? I think that the new movie Australia looks like it might be good. That movie sounded interesting to me too. If I picked you up at seven, would that be too early? I think that seven o'clock will work out well. Perfect. Well, I'll see you at seven on Friday then. Lesson seventeen: Asking for a date. Five. Hey, Todd. How are you? I've been doing well. How are things with you, Mary? Things are good with me, also. Mary, I was looking in the paper at the new movies coming out. Do you enjoy movies? Yes, I go all the time. I was hoping that you and I could maybe spend a Friday evening together. I was wondering if you would like to go with me this Friday to see a movie and get a bite to eat afterwards. I would love to go out with you on Friday. Do you have a certain movie that you would like to see? I've heard a lot of things about the movie Australia. You know, I was thinking that that would be a good movie to go see together. Would seven be a good time to pick you up? Seven o'clock would be perfect. Okay, I'll pick you up at seven then. Lesson eighteen: Asking for a date. Six. Hi, Todd. How's it going? Things are going well. How are you, Mary? I've also been doing well. You know, I've been thinking about maybe taking in a movie this weekend. Do you like to go to the movies? Yes, I really enjoy the movies. Well, I've been hoping that we could spend some time together away from here. I was wondering if you would like to go out Friday evening for dinner and a movie. Sure, that sounds good. Is there any movie in particular that you might be interested in? I was thinking about that movie Australia. Yeah, that looks like one that we both might enjoy. If I picked you up at seven, would that work out okay for you? Seven o'clock would be great. Fine, then I'll see you at seven. I am looking forward to a great evening. Lesson nineteen: Rejecting an invitation. One. Joe, how are you doing? I'm great. How about you, Mary? How are you? I am doing great. Thank you for asking, Joe. I was wondering if you want to go see a movie with me tonight. I need to stay home tonight and finish my term paper. Okay. What about going to the movies on Friday night? What were you planning on seeing? I was thinking about seeing that one about the rapist serial killer. How about the Secret Life of 
bees. That's a chick flick. Lesson 20, rejecting an invitation, two. Hey, Joe, how have you been? Oh, I'm doing well. How about you, Mary? I am doing okay, Joe. There is a new movie at the mall that I want to see. Want to go with me? I can't because I already promised my roommate that I would go shopping with her. I could go to the movies on Friday night instead. Would that be better? Did you have a certain movie in mind? I thought that the movie about a serial killer who rapes and mutilates his victims would be a good choice. I kind of want to see The Secret Life of Bees. Maybe we can think of something somewhere between a chick flick and a horror movie. <laughs> Lesson 21. Rejecting an Invitation. 3. Hi, Joe. How are you doing today? Things are going good today. How have you been doing, Mary? Things are going well for me, Joe. Want to go see a movie tonight? My parents are taking me to dinner tonight. Could you go with me to the movies on Friday night instead? What movie did you want to see? There is a new horror flick about a rape of serial killer. I was thinking that I would like to see The Secret Life of Bees. Oh, great. Sounds like something I need to bring Kleenex to. Lesson 22, calling after the date, 1. Oh, hi, Linda. This is Todd. Yes, Todd. How nice to hear your voice. Linda, I just wanted to say that I had a wonderful evening with you last Friday. I really enjoyed our evening together, Todd. I had fun. Also, and was wondering if you would like to go hiking with me in the mountains on Saturday. Hiking would be perfect. May I bring along a picnic lunch for us to share? A picnic lunch would be uh, a nice thing to have along. I'll work on the lunch and you work out the details of where we'll go. What time do you want to be at my house? Nine would be good, don't you think? Nine is good. See you on Saturday. Lesson 23, calling after the date, two. Linda, this is Todd calling. Todd, I'm so happy you called. Linda, I wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed our time together last Friday night. Boy, Todd, that was one great movie you picked out. Thanks for asking me to go with you. I had a great time, too, and was thinking that maybe you might want to join me for a hike to the waterfalls on Saturday. A hike would be great. Let me pack us a nice picnic lunch, okay? Linda, that would be a perfect addition. I'll take care of the lunch then, and you can take care of the other plans. What time would you like to pick me up? I was hoping to leave by 9 so that it won't be too hot for the hike. 9 is a great time to get started. I'll see you on Saturday. Lesson 24 Calling after the date, 3. Hi, Linda. This is Todd. Todd, good to hear from you. I just wanted to tell you what a great time I had with you at the movies last week. Me too, Todd. Thanks for suggesting that great movie. I also enjoyed it and was wondering if you would like to go for a hike in the mountains with me on Saturday. I would love to join you on a hike. Could I maybe bring a picnic lunch for us to eat on the trail? Sure, Linda. That's a great suggestion. Fine, then. What time are we going to leave? I was thinking maybe 9 o'clock or so, so that we could get started before the heat gets too bad. 9 would be perfect. I'll see you then.